Hi guys, um, my name is uh, Andre Anissimo. Today I present uh, the ICO. Um, I just, I'd like to say that this project kind of plays into a broader theme that I personally believe in, it, which is democratization of software, that in order for businesses and society at large to, to kind of keep up with the pace of innovation, uh, software tools should be more available to regular people. So, as you know, uh, you know, you probably all know what ICO is. So today, ICO raised um, about 3.7 billion total, uh, and uh, you know, around 25,000 smart contracts. You, you know, to launch an ICO, you need to launch. And yet, uh, it's very it's extremely hard to find developers. Well, because you know, who wants to work when you can just huddle and you know, go to conferences, etc. So uh, the the prices that these guys charge are 500k and above. That's not something I just you know came up with randomly. That's actual quotes that that people are quoting us to prepare for our SEO. And so basically, um, what we uh, we build a platform that allows anyone to launch an ICO without developers. And we kind of put an interesting spin on it, uh, is that you can launch your token on top of Bitcoin, not Ethereum. Uh, we use a uh, stock protocol for that. And um, yeah, basically if you look at the market cap of Ethereum and Bitcoin, Bitcoin market cap is two times larger, so pretty much a lot of liquidity is sitting in this market, but right now they have to access uh, ICOs through Ethereum, they have to trade it in and out, it, you know, it just creates friction. Um, so potentially solutions like that can uh, enable access uh, for this liquidity to, you know, to get into ICOs. So this, uh, the platform is actually functional, so let me show you. Um, of course, it's, uh, you know, it's just a proof of concept, but basically, here I have a list of uh, tokens that I created. You can go and create a token. I'm not gonna do it now because um, uh, it's just gonna take about 30 seconds for a transaction to mine. So, you, you know, you can set up different parameters of your uh, pre-sale, sale, etc. Sale, and basically, uh, it, you know, allows then anyone to come and invest. And you can invest directly with Bitcoin. And for example, we can go and try to um, you know, invest, I have a little bit, sorry, the numbers are very small because uh, the guys don't want to share too, too much of their test uh, net points. So, um, you know, let's try, hope, hope it's going to work. Um, you know, in the meantime, while, while it's mining, uh, I'm going to show you the potential future uh, possibilities of this platform. You can basically, you know, you can integrate the whole kind of community-driven investment thing, like AngelList, uh, you know, but for cryptos, you can kind of launch the, the the coin and have the community investors collaborate and, and, and co-invest, you know, as uh, the project goes through different stages. And then you can do, you know, full KYC, AML, legal compliance, basically allow, you know, take care of everything. Uh, because the interesting thing is ICO is just a kind of tip of the iceberg because there will be, it's, it's just a broader thing of tokenization. Yeah, 30 we're seconds, 30 seconds. Sure, yeah. Um, we're basically, uh, there is a, you know, tremendous uh, benefits of, you know, tokenization of liquid assets. So, um, as you can see, uh, I just bought a, you know, 000. You know, 4 tokens that I just created and I just, you know, enabled all this without any, de any development. So that's pretty much. Cool. Um, as someone who recently ran an ICO, went to the dark side, sorry about that. Um, this is really interesting. It's such, so much innovation in this space. And we've actually had a chance to speak um, in private as well. Um, what about the other pieces? Because it's, it's very, it's much more than just the development to run an ICO. Um, 
Can you foresee maybe expanding this to, to other things to help someone go through it? Yeah, uh, I definitely can can foresee a lot of you know a lot of basically unlimited possibilities because right now the you know tokenization process is, is very like it's 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 just very difficult technically but also legally and and also there is a marketing challenges you can potentially kind of put it all together in one platform and and also the money the investors and kind of let them all collaborate in a decentralized fashion to to kind of feed feed the companies they like form syndicates you know whatever i, I think i think that something like this will will happen for sure you know. thank you great yeah um also coming from a company that just had an ico it's a uh, it's a, it's a pretty uh, you know, intense process and there's a lot of moving parts to it. This is a, a very interesting tool that you know, there is a, there's an obvious need for it. Um, yeah, I have a ton of questions for you and we got to chat a little bit on Friday night and um, I, I feel like you, I kind of picked your brain a little bit about this. Um, but um, I guess just what, what, what are some of the engineering bottlenecks you, you foresee you know, kind of rolling this out to the market and like, what are your plans for that? Um, so, you know, the obvious bottlenecks are security, first of all, because unlike, uh, you know, traditional web application where you can always fix bugs, uh, if you have bugs in Solidity and smart contracts, you can potentially lose, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. So there is, you know, significantly more pressure here. And just in general, I, be I believe the tool set that exists right now is, is very, it's not user friendly at all, even the APIs, Ethereum APIs, Bitcoin APIs, they could be much, much better. So that's where I, you know, that, for this project, that's what I found. We, we were coding all night, non-stop, we didn't sleep. And most of the time, I literally just had to like debug stuff. It's not like, it's not I generated a lot of like value add and some, you know, invented some cool stuff. I just had to plug in, you know, it's all these multiple pieces, spend like, you know, a ton of time, so. So going more into uh, KYC and ML, what, what is your legal compliance like? What are you guys doing? Make sure who's signing up, who's investing, accredited investors, some random from the street. What are you guys doing to stop any of that? Um, you know, right now we don't have any functionality like this because we pretty much just did it in, in one, one night, but you can easily imagine plugging in even existing you know, KYC solution, accredited investors, etc. You know, to partner with someone to to basically provide full legal compliance for you know, dependent on the type of token you issue, etc. So I, you know, I can easily see that. Well done. No questions. Thank you. Good job, guys. Right, you guys. Yeah. All right. Uh, next up, we have sure Infinite Fractal, sure. and then the last one, Dank News. Um, you're up after them. Yeah, that's dank news. No, 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 like that. Like that. The lines are good. Yes, I kind of a little bit. Yeah. 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 Y